Hello everyone, it's Farkid here, and in this video I'm going to cover things I do not want in Sons of the Forest from the forest. As it is a sequel, there may be some things that pass over. There's a lot of good things in the forest, there's a lot of not so good things, and I'm going to cover them here. This is part one of three videos I'm working on. The next two will be things that should be in Sons of the Forest, and things I want in Sons of the Forest. This isn't a message to the developers either. These are just my thoughts. It's their game, they can do whatever the hell they want, but it won't stop me from bitching about it. And all these videos are done. It's been a work in progress for over a year and a half. It has been a long ride, but let's get started. And the first thing is grass poking through floorboards. I hated this in the forest and it appears it might be making a return. I don't think this is intentional. Maybe they haven't figured out a way to cull the grass or make it clear. I don't know. From an aesthetics point of view, this really hurts the soul. Or my soul anyway. I do hope they find a way to overcome this. The next thing I don't want is enemies being able to damage things through a wall. In this clip here, I recorded an armsy hitting a wall and I had some drying racks behind it. And as you can see, you can easily damage and destroy the things behind the wall. They've got a fair bit of distance, about one meter or or half a refrigerator if it's laying down. In terms of realism, it doesn't make sense. And also, it's really annoying. It means you gotta place stuff further back. And if you place stairs as a means to climb up so you can shoot things down behind the wall, the stairs are gonna get destroyed, which is kind of disappointing. The next thing I don't want is fish that are unobtainable. It's not that common in the forest. If you're building on the islands, usually the fish are quite far from the island itself and they're just unobtainable. If you stand on the side of a raft and try to spear down, you can't really get them. You could shoot them with a bow and arrow. That's probably one way. It's actually a way I didn't even think of until just now. Though there should be a way to get them and that would be having a couple of weapons that are usable underwater. I do have some ideas in mind, but I'm going to save it for another video. The next thing I don't want in Sons of the Forest is for rivers and lakes not to be connected to the ocean. I know it doesn't make sense to say lakes because lakes aren't connected to the ocean. And technically the lake in the forest is a lake and it's not a river, even though it stretches across the middle of the map. It just falls short slightly before the ocean. Now I have a feeling there might have been some mechanics why they couldn't do this because the river because the lake is actually a lot higher than the ocean. But what it's done is made it so it's not possible to bring boats from the river into the ocean or lake into the ocean and vice versa, which is quite unfortunate. I'm hoping that in Sons of the Forest, they have some rivers connecting to the ocean so you, it can give you a bit more of a mobile base or make it better for getting sticks and logs and that sort of stuff. I don't think it would be difficult to do. I think it would be very beneficial. The next thing I don't want in Sons of the Forest, and I'm going to say that for every intro of every segment of this video is I don't like that you can just save and reload to make things respawn. I mean, it is very useful, but it is so easy to abuse. For example, in the main cannibal village in the forest, there's four sticks of dynamite that spawn. Every time you save and reload, those respawn. So you can set up a whole bunch of explosive holders, which are really cheap to make, and just spend about five minutes saving and reloading and you'd load them up in no time. Then you could clear all the forest around that section. I do have a suggestion and that has got to do with their digging mechanic in Sons of the Forest. I think that might be a good way to find loot or resources or maybe have cannibals carrying around backpacks of other survivors. If you kill the cannibal you get the loot. Kind of like a treasure goblin from Diablo 3, that disappointment of a game. I just think it's too easy to cheese and it's so easy to become reliant upon it. For caves, you don't even have to save and reload. You just exit out of the cave and go back in and the stuff respawns as well. It's an exploit that's so easy to abuse. The next thing I don't want in Sons of the Forest is I don't want logs to explode at the end of zip lines. And this is something that's always baffled me because when they introduced the zip line and, and showed that logs could go down it, they didn't explode. There was a trick that if you made a floating zip line, the logs would just fall down underneath, which was not very aesthetic, but it's solve the problem with collision. But now when you go into render, they all explode at the other end. The only solution for this is to make a log catcher, which is a pain in the ass, or is to be a multiplayer with a friend if you've got one. If you do, tell me what it's like, but stand at the other end and catch the logs. That's actually a very effective way to do it. The next thing is in the forest, electrical tape is a thing, and I think it's making a return to Sons of the Forest. But the problem I had with this one item in the forest is that it was such a pain to obtain that I just never bothered. 
bothered with it. So you needed it to make bombs and a couple of other items. Problem is it was so scarce that it just wasn't worth it. There was two places above ground and I think one or two places below ground. Now you could do the save and exit thing to make them respawn, but that's not in the spirit of it. I don't like doing that. You can also find them in suitcases, though it's still pretty rare. I'm just hoping they don't do this with another item in Sons of the Forest because otherwise players are just going to use grenades or dynamite or whatever the other items are. The next thing I'd like to see in Sons of the Forest is to make the oceans a little less barren. In the forest there are some things that were added. There was three secret entrances that they added and they used to have quite a lot of items under the water but most of that got removed and considering the ocean probably makes up a good I don't know, 20% of the map. It's just wasted real estate. They could do a lot more with it. Sunken ships, etc. Have some items. The game does have a rebreather or a scuba tank, so it could be put to use. And it would reward exploration, which is always a good thing. I just see a lot of potential for this. This is one I particularly don't want in Sons of the Forest from the Forest, and that is tripping over flat surfaces. When you're placing custom foundations or even custom floors, the wider the planks are, the more uneven even they get, which leads to you tripping on them while you're running across them. <clears throat> this problem is amplified the faster you move. And because the forest has athleticism, towards end game you start moving faster. And you do this hopping and skipping thing while running on the floor and it's the most annoying thing. I did come up with a solution a while back in season 5, but it's actually quite tedious to do. I just wish I'd fix this. I'm not sure what causes it. It doesn't have to be like Ark where you can like step up a meter effortlessly and it doesn't slow you down. But just to stop the skipping effect, it's so immersion breaking. Possible solution is to allow the player to move over one log high. So I think that'll be a good step. Get it? I need to go to bed. This one should be simple, but the lighter should be F and not L. L's on the other side of the keyboard. You have to take your hand off the WASD keys to go and reach it. It's like the second furthest letter away from where your hand originally sits. I don't get that. I mean, it makes sense in terms of lighter starts over L, but F is not binded in the forest. And I got no idea if it's binded in Sons of the Forest. Why not use it? Every time I reinstall the forest, there's two options I change. I remove motion blur and I change the lighter key to F. All the other settings can wait. Those are the two most important ones. Something that bothered me about the forest is that the middle mouse button scroll wheel was never utilized for anything. It could have been used to rotate structures. You could go clockwise or anti-clockwise, but it did nothing, with the exception of the ultimate cheat menu in Mod API. You could use it to adjust the size of the hole cutter, which was quite a neat feature. I think the middle mouse button could have a lot of uses. There's going to be a scope in the game, so maybe it's going to have a use there. Just have to wait and see. The next thing has to do with scaling of icons. Now in this footage here, I'm on 4K. I finally got another 4K monitor. I couldn't stand 2K. Now, as you can see, the size of our icons look fairly decent. But what I'm doing here is that in the first image, that's 4K, and the second is 2K, and the third is 1080p or 1K, and the next one is 1280 by 720, and the last is on the lowest possible resolution. Now, if you notice, the icon size doesn't change no matter what you set the resolution to, which I think is not a good thing. Because if you can see, the size of icons is is absolutely huge once you reach 1080p and below. I don't think that's fair if you're limited by your resolution. I don't believe they did this on purpose. I think it's just a scaling issue. Though I think this should be an option that should be adjustable for players. And also I thought this was funny. At the lowest resolution, this is the size of the cursor inside the main menu. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. I wanted to show you it. Next thing I would like to see in Sons of the Forest is being able to grow mushrooms, but not in caves. I think if you have a dark room in your house, like there should be a lighting detection system or maybe just a cover detection system. Like if you're under a roof, then rain can't get through. I think that should be sufficient to be able to grow mushrooms inside your house. The next thing I would like to see is ways to wash blood off the player. I'm assuming this system is returning and I think it's a good system. The thing is about the forest is that the only ways to wash blood off yourself is for it to rain or for you to jump in water. I think covering yourself in mud or red paint resets the effect. I'm not sure. It's been some time since I checked that out. Though there should be some system, like to use a percentage of water out of a bottle in your inventory to wash off the blood. Or maybe have a shower like in Green Hell. I don't know. There's a lot of ways they can do it. I just find it very limiting that those are the only solutions. If you're not near a body of water and it hasn't rained for a long time, it can be really annoying because you're more prone to infection. Now infection is very minimal 
on the forest it doesn't really do much to you it's not even worth worrying about when you get it but it's still annoying because that pop-up reminding you that you're covered in blood is the main reason the next thing i don't want to see in sons of the forest is the stew system from the forest it was just far too complicated it really was and not only was it complicated it wasn't very useful it literally became a way for zebulon to use up a spoiled meat because if you make a stew with spoiled meat it removes the spoiled effect another thing i would like to see and i think this might have been a bug i'm assuming if you change your audio device output settings while the game is running the game won't change along with them it keeps the old setting the amount of times i've gotten into the forest and i've had it on headset or on my speakers and forgot to change it is quite a lot because i often get into the game type in developer mode on open the game load it in realize there's no sound so i have to close down the whole game change the setting then get back into the game and repeat the same process Process. It's not fun, but I don't think that was done on purpose. The next thing is very small, but I'd like to see a drop down menu in the options of the game for resolutions. It's quite annoying having to cycle through every resolution if you're ever changing it. I don't do this very often, but it's pretty bad to deal with. I'm hoping this is an easy fix. The next thing I'd want is just a quick and simple one. Motion blur is off by default. I don't think there are many PC players in their right mind who are going to play with motion blur on. And personally, I get tired of going into a game and instantly going to the options and seeing that it's turned on. It should never be turned on. The next thing I'd like to see, I would like to see more save slots in the game. The game currently only has five and because I do YouTube on these games, I need a lot of save slots so I can go back and change things and do things and I have different maps for different things etc blah 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 being limited to five save slots without any descriptions is quite difficult i often save over my saves quite a lot which means i have to use windows key and r type in percentage app data percentage go into my saves through that way go into roaming and pack up my saves because i know i'm going to overwrite them so more save slots and ability to add a name to the save the little picture is good i'd like a clearer picture the preview picture is a little bit too small, I think. Another thing that I'd like them to add is more optimization for ultra wide monitors. Now I've just changed my monitor. I've gone back to 16 by nine with 4K. So this isn't gonna really affect me, but there were missing textures and stuff in the forest and I'm certain they'll overcome them because when they were designing the game, I don't think 32 by nine was even a thing back then. I think 21 by nine was, which would be fine, but there's some funny things you can see in the forest on the 32 by nine monitor. Specifically, the reason I mentioned this point is the forest has a really bad fish eye problem when it comes to widescreen every game has it but the forest is particularly bad with it to give you an example when you look sideways on something i don't know if i can even show it anymore because i've disconnected that monitor but when you look side on in the spaces where you don't normally have a monitor things look very big in most games but in the forest they look absolutely huge but the effect i think is so bad in the forest that it even affects you even when you're not in ultra wide so i'm hoping they add things to reduce that fish eye effect because i don't even know why it's a filter on phones for cameras and stuff it looks terrible well this next one this is another key change and i've been thinking about why i want so many and i think it's just because if you start playing a game and the keys are laid out the way they are you get used to it and it's hard to change it after you've gotten used to it muscle memory and such so for this one i would like the inventory to be tab instead of i now i did find out that you can change the inventory from i to tab the so tab is set for list players in multiplayer i'm wondering if it would be better to change list players to backwards slash this all comes down to trying to keep your left hand in the same spot without it having to move i guess in a way after playing so many survival games you do get a bit sick of having to get used to different keys or different things i guess that's just what we're going to deal with anyway that's it i think in the next video i'm going to cover things i think should be in the forest and then the third one will be things i want to see in the forest anyway if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe cheers oh my voice is bugging